Hello good day viewers, still on coordinate geometry, here is our problem for today. The question reads, a cycle has an equation x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 24y minus 24 equal to 0. A. We ask to find the center and the radius of the cycle. B. The points A and B with their corresponding coordinates both lie on the circumference of the cycle. We are asked to show that the line segment AB is a diameter of that cycle. And the last question here reads, the point C lies on the negative x-axis and the angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees. We are asked to find the coordinates of C. Alright, let's get started. Let's start with question A. We are asked to find the coordinates of the center and the radius of that cycle. The equation given to us is x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 24 y minus 24. This is equal to 0. This is an equation of a cycle in general form, which you know we can write as x squared plus 2fx plus y squared plus 2 g y then plus c the whole of this equal to zero where the center of that cycle has the coordinates negative f comma negative g if you can recall and the radius of the cycle can be of 10 by taking the square root of f squared plus g squared minus c so this is what we need in order to find the center of the cycle and the radius of that cycle. So let's bring out the data. Let me start with f. To find f, from here you can see the coefficient of x is 2, while the coefficient of x here is 2f, which means that 2f is equal to 2. 2f is equal to 2. If you divide both sides by 2, you have f to be equal to 1. Then you need also to find the value of g. From here you can see the coefficient of y is negative 24. While the coefficient of y here is 2g. Meaning that 2g is equal to what? Negative 24. If you divide both sides by positive 2. You have g to be negative 12. So what do we say? We say that the center of the cycle is given as negative f and negative g. So the center of that cycle has the coordinates negative f. f is 1. If you negate it, you have negative 1. Then g is negative 12. If you negate it, you have positive 12. And hence, this is the center of that cycle. Then coming to the radius, the only thing we need to find is c, which is the constant. And constant in this case is 24 negative. So we can clearly see that c is equal to negative 24. Already we have f and g. So all we have to do is to substitute them into this equation. And hence our radius is equal to the square root of 1 squared, that is f squared, then plus g squared, which is what? Negative 12 squared. The minus c, c is already negative, so minus minus will bring it to positive 24. Now let us simplify and get the radius. This is equal to the square root of 1 squared is 1 plus negative 12 squared is 144, then plus 24. 1 plus 144 will give us 145. Plus 24 will give us 169. So this is the square root of 169. And square root of 169 is 13. Hence, the radius of that cycle is 13 units. So we have obtained the center of the cycle and also the radius of that cycle. This is not the only way to do that. You can convert it into standard form. But we are not going to do that in this tutorial. Then the second question, which is the B part, it stated that we have a point AB, which is a line segment, that lie on the circumference of that cycle. We are asked to show that AB is a diameter. So now let us construct a cycle. 
so this is b suppose we have a cycle like this and we have a line a b what are the coordinates negative 13 7 10 negative 13 17 then the b we have 11 7 we have 11 7 if line a b is really the diameter of this cycle then what will be the center of this cycle we are going to take the midpoint if the midpoint correspond to the center of the cycle which we have here as negative 1 comma 12 then we conclude that line a b is really a diameter so what, let us take the midpoint midpoint will be what you add the x axis you divide by 2 negative 13 plus 11 you divide by 2 then you add the y's 17 plus 7 you also divide by 2 so negative 13 plus 11 will give us negative 2 and negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 so we have negative 1 for x then if you add this together 17 and 7 you get 24 divided by 2 is 12 and hence this is the midpoint of the line segment ab which should correspond to the center of that cycle which we have here you can see they are exactly the same and hence we say that line ab is really the diameter of that cycle so how can we conclude we can say that since midpoint is equal to the center hence ab is a diameter right so we are done with this question now let us move to the next one which is the last one the point c lies on the negative x axis and the angle acb is equal to 90 degrees we are asked to find the coordinates of c all right this is our c part suppose we have y axis here uh, we have x axis here suppose we have a cycle simple cycle like this let us add the two points given to us which are a b already i have them here so x is negative y is positive which is in the second quadrant here and the coordinates of b are all positive which means it lies in the first quadrant so let us place them here so we may have something like this so suppose we have a point a here and uh, point b here the coordinates of b are 11 7 and point a has the coordinates negative 13 17 so this is negative 13 17. according to the question there is another point which is c that lies exactly on x negative axis this is x axis and this is x axis but this is negative while this is positive so it means this leg exactly so let us sketch it from a exactly onto x axis and from b down to that same axis and we form a right angle here which is angle 90 degrees so we have point c what you should know about this point c is that the y coordinate at that point must be equal to zero because it lies on x axis so we have x which we don't know but y coordinate must be zero all right and another thing you should remember is that this line ac and cb are perpendicular to each other i remember that the slope of two perpendicular lines are always the negative reciprocal of each other so now let us find the slope of line ac so we have slope of line ac which is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and you can always start from other points let me start from a y coordinate at that point is 17 minus y here is 0 so we have minus 0 divided by x negative 13 then minus another x here if you simplify this you have 17 divided by negative 13 minus x this is the slope of line ac then what about bc slope 
of BC, the same thing, y here is 7, so we have 7 minus y here is 0, minus 0, divided by 11 minus x. Simplify and obtain uh, 7 divided by 11 minus x. But I told you the two slopes are negative reciprocal of each other, which means that this 17 divided by negative 13 minus x is equal to negative the whole of this 11 minus x divided by 7. All you have to do is to take the reciprocal of this by flipping upside down the denominator and numerator. Then you negate it by multiplying by negative sign. So this is the equation we need to solve for x. By cross multiplication, we have negative 13 minus x multiplied by negative 11 plus x if you distribute negative inside this must be equal to 7 multiplied by 17. now let us distribute this we have negative 13 multiplied by negative 11 negative negative is positive then 13 times 11 is 143 143 then this multiplied by this will give us negative 13x, negative 13x. Then we have negative x multiplied by negative 11, negative negative is positive, so we have positive 11x. Then negative positive is negative, x times x is x squared. And this is equal to, uh, if you multiply 7 by 17, you are going to have 119. These are like terms. If you add them together, you're going to obtain negative 2x. So we have 143 minus 2x, then minus x squared, and this is equal to 119. Let us take all these terms to the right-hand side. If you take negative x squared to the right-hand side, you have positive x squared. Take this to the right-hand side, you have positive 2x. And take this to the right-hand side, it becomes negative. So we have plus 119, which was there before, minus 143. And this is equal to 0. And 119 minus 143 will give us what? Negative 24. So we have x squared plus 2x minus 24. This is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation that can be factorized. All we have to do is to think of two numbers that we can multiply together to get negative 24. But when we add the two numbers together, we are going to get positive 2. And the numbers are 6 and negative 4. So we have x plus 6 multiplied by x minus 4. This is equal to 0. If you set each factor to be equal to 0, it implies that either x is equal to negative 6 or x equal to positive 4. But remember, the x axis at that point is negative. Therefore, we are going to consider x equal to negative 6. Already, the value of y is 0 at that point, remember? Therefore, the coordinates of c is what? Negative 6, 0. And this is exactly what we are looking for. We are looking for the coordinates of c at that point. So, the coordinate here is what? Negative 6, 0. And I think this is the last question. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.